The first step to doing any titration calculation is to have a look at the balanced equation. If there's not a balanced equation there, then you're going to have to write one. I'm going to write this one out for you. So we have hydrochloric acid, HCl, plus sodium hydroxide, NaOH. It's a neutralisation reaction, so we're going to get a salt, sodium chloride, and water. And this reaction is already balanced. The next step is to have a look at the mole ratio. So the mole ratio that we have here, we're only concentrating on the reactants. So we're looking at hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. So we have a mole ratio of one mole of HCl gives us one mole of sodium hydroxide. So we need to keep that in mind for later on. Now the way that I worked that out was the numbers in front of the chemical formulae. There are no numbers, so we can assume that it's one. The next thing you need to do is to have a look at your information that you've been given. And you need to allocate different colours, is how I'm going to do it, for the two different species. So, for hydrochloric acid, I'm going to underline everything about hydrochloric acid in green. So we're being asked what volume of hydrochloric acid would be required to neutralise and we've got a concentration of hydrochloric acid. On the other hand, we have sodium hydroxide. We've got volume of sodium hydroxide and we have a concentration of sodium hydroxide. To do these calculations, you're going to be using the moles equals concentration times volume triangle. So I'm going to sketch that out beside just to remind me. So you have moles, concentration and volume. You need to look at your information, if we go back to that, and find which of the two species do we have enough information about to be able to do a calculation. So we have a volume and we have a concentration for sodium hydroxide. That allows us to calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that were used in the titration. So if we do moles of sodium hydroxide, equals concentration times volume. Concentration was 0 0.5 and the volume is 20 centimetres cubed. So we need to remember to divide by a thousand to give us 0 0.02. So overall, our number of moles is 0 0.01 moles. If we now have a look at the moles of hydrochloric acid, You'll see that for every one mole of sodium hydroxide we use, we need one mole of hydrochloric acid. In our reaction, we've only got 0 0.01 moles. So that means that our moles of HCl must equal our moles of sodium hydroxide. So we will be using 0 0.01 moles of HCl. The final step in our calculation is to calculate the volume of hydrochloric acid. We've got a concentration and we now have the moles, so we're able to rearrange the triangle so that we can get volume. So we'll have volume equals moles divided by concentration. So the moles that we've just worked out is 0 0.01. The concentration is 0 0.1 which means overall we've got a volume of 0 0.1. Now you need to remember that that volume is in litres. If you want it in centimetres cubed, you need to times by a thousand. That will give you 100 centimetres. So here is another example. This time we're going to be calculating a concentration. Again, we need to start with a balanced equation. So we have potassium hydroxide, which is KOH. We have sulfuric acid, H2SO4. That will give us a salt of K2SO4 and water. We need to make sure that this is balanced. So we will have two potassium hydroxide and two water. Our next part is to have a look at the mole ratio. 
again, we're only concentrating on the reactants. These are the two parts that we're interested in. So we're looking at the number in front of the reactants. So we have two moles of KOH requires one mole of H2SO4. Come back to the mole ratio later. Like we did in the first example, we're going to go through our information and we're going to pick out each side. So let's have a look at our potassium hydroxide. Okay, so we've got here 25 centimetres cubed of a solution of 0.5 mole per litre potassium hydroxide is required. So we have a volume and we have a concentration. If we look now at our acid, we've got sulfuric acid. So it's required to neutralise 15 centimetres cubed of sulfuric acid. So that's a volume there about sulfuric acid and we're being asked to calculate the concentration. So like we did in the first example, you need to have a look and see which of the two species do you have two bits of information for to be able to use your triangle. So the triangle, okay, moles, concentration and volume. So in this example, you have two bits of information about the potassium hydroxide. Okay, so moles of KOH will equal concentration times volume. You have a concentration of 0.5. Your volume is 25, so remember to divide by a thousand. So it's 0 0.025. And when you multiply those two together, you get 0 0.0125 moles. Now we're having a look at the mole ratio. So for every two moles of KOH, we need one mole of sulfuric acid. So to go from this side to this side, which is what we're doing, we need to divide by two. So our moles of H2SO4 equals half of our moles of KOH. So our moles of KOH is 0 0.0125. We need to divide that by 2 to get 0 0.0625. We're now going to use the moles and we're going to use the volume that we have from the question to work out the concentration of H2SO4 that was used. So we're looking at concentration equals moles divided by volume. So we have our moles from the step above divided by our volume, which is 15. Make sure it's in litres. And that gives us a final concentration of 0.42 moles per litre.